up sauce gang and welcome back to the channel hot sauce beats here with another banger skibbity toilet multiverse reaction for you as you guys know skibbity toilet multiverse 15 came out today and oh my god it looks like the superhero superheroes here with the time traveling clockman and elite clockman has just dropped time traveler clockman question mark Episode 15, Skippy Total Multiverse Analysis and Theory. And fam, hands down, super stoked to see what kind of Easter eggs or what we missed. Because a lot happened in this, and I'm still kind of confused. This time traveler, is he from the future? What's he doing here? Hopefully, Elite Clockman knows. But before we jump into this, can you show Elite Clockman some love by subscribing to his channel? And chat, we are trying to get to 100,000 subs by Christmas. So if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button and join the Sauce Gang family. But enough talking, let's get to reacting and roll that bomb ass intro. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Hot sauce beats is finally here. Eat, sleep, make beats. Eat, sleep, make beats. Hot sauce beats. Woo -hoo! Okay, you know the deal. Ladies and gentlemen, Elite Clockman here. Hi, Elite we are going Clockman. Through another crazy week because we just Hi. had a back to back release of a Skibidi toilet and a Skibidi multiverse episode release. Damn both right we did. Had a crazy episode this week, but today's Skibidi Multiverse episode was actually Happy Thanksgiving, very everybody. Because my brother somehow was in this episode, but I was not. Oh hell yeah! yeah. I was at my in this girl. episode, all right. You hey, stop girl, interrupting bro. me, you simp! Shut the hell up, you traitor! Woo! I haven't forgotten what you did to those She's, alliance members in episode either, thirteen, but I can forgive you just this once because TV woman was so goddamn hot when she was next God, to me. Dang I was basically was. millimeters. Of Bruh, that's messed up, man. That's messed up. Away from her. No wonder it felt like that because you had a freaking spyglass to look at her. I need to keep my chill. Keep this it. guy is something else. Blood literally whipped out a spyglass to check out TV woman. Five he feet the away. True form of a simp. But that's not all because we may have gotten our first glimpse of a time traveler in the series and it was nuts. Everyone has been asking if Clockman had the ability to travel through time. And I guess the answer is I yes. I think he did? You but have to assume that's what everything, everything was. Went down in today's episode. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. He looks we are almost badass. at 200,000 subscribers. Bad booty. Anyways, here we go. First of all, we got some news from Dom Studios themselves, and they are some crazy stuff about the future of the series. Yesterday, they posted a drawing of Titan Clockman on Discord, which looks like an anime version of Titan Clockman burning in a fight, and said, "How Bruh. about an anime version of Multiverse?" Yes! Does this mean that they are working on an anime version of the series? Maybe a special 2D Let's animated go! episode? If so, oh, bro, we will be crazy. 100% we're if watching that! If you guys want to see an anime version, you should support their channel so that they can dedicate time into it. Yes, but please. But this wasn't actually the craziest news Subscribe to Dom Studio. About two days ago, Dom Studio sent one more message in their Discord replying to a viewer's question. The viewer asked, just out of curiosity, are you accepting new character ideas? And Dom Studios Ooh, two new races. With, I can confirm there are two races coming in the future, but not so soon. I, Maybe I don't two even to three know months what. later. They basically confirmed that we'll actually be getting two new races in a few months, and I'm sure that it'll be crazy. Bruh, we need one more race in Skibidi yeah, Toilet as well. I'm hoping for Microwave Race to arrive in episode 69 and solo the whole verse. <laughs> you better keep huffing that copium, mate. <laughs> Says you, bruh. You said you Says could riz up Clock Woman and Drill Woman at the same time yesterday. Woo! Shush. No one was supposed to hear that. Guys don't believe in this simp's words. I don't say stuff like that. Believe me, he does. Anyways, this episode starts at the bridge that we saw in the exclusive leaks yesterday, and we can see many toilets attacking at the same time, including one of the Ding Dong Striders. We turn to our yeah. left, but suddenly the cameraman <laughs> next to us gets shot by a spear right in his lens and dies. And when we turn our head, we can clearly see that it's the Sevens. upgraded police toilet who did this. Stops. But unlike the original series, Stops. the head of this police toilet is different. We turn our head and see the exact scene that we saw in the exclusive clip yesterday. And it's three toilets marching towards us. But we suddenly get saved by the large drill man, and he points us to the back probably telling us that we should go that way instead of going in front. We nod our head and he suddenly turns into Sonic once again and rushes into the battlefield, yeah, so leaving cool, the POV bro. cameraman alone once again. 
We pull the spear from the cameraman's lens to use it as a weapon and start running towards the back, and everywhere we look there is only chaos, and we actually add on to this chaos by throwing All our right. spear into the explosives behind the mutant toilet, exploding everything. After this, we try to hide behind the van, but suddenly the mutant toilet picks up the whole van and throws yeah. it away. With one arm, We can also bro. see that this is with another mutant arm. toilet with a white eye, but this time half his face is destroyed, and he can still function as if nothing has happened until he falls down to his death. It really seems like these robotic versions of the Skibidi toilets are getting out of hand. Yeah, I agree. And we still have no idea if it has any relation to the Skibidi apocalypse folder we saw earlier. After the mutant toilet dies. I'm guessing it does, right? You gotta assume. We get up and start moving ahead. And there was actually an animation glitch here because the fire literally teleported and opened us a way to go through. We start rushing towards the toilet in front of us and flush him while pulling out his flush. Right after we throw the flush to the other toilet next to us. But to our surprise, the mutant <laughs> toilet from earlier comes back. At least it seems that way because he has the exact same features as him. He throws us inside the bus and literally throws the whole bus off the bridge. I don't know what these mutant dude, toilets dude are made is off, but they are right? so goddamn strong. They're getting their protein! It really is not an easy feat for a humanoid toilet to pull off something like that with ease. We somehow make it out alive and right when we get back on Ooh. the bridge. We can see a cameraman running with a first aid bag towards the left side. But instead of following him, we go to the right side. And we can clearly see the Alliance having more of a formation here holding off the ground. But suddenly a drill toilet like the one from episode 11 appears, and he gets flushed by a cameraman thanks to the help of the nail gun drill man. And I think my brother would love to pick it from here because his favorite character appears uh, right no, after no, 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 you're not Of course that. I'm taking over bruh Come because on, bruh. right after they flush the drill man toilet, TV we woman. see a helicopter toilet crashing into another helicopter toilet, and it turns out that my beloved TV woman was controlling the helicopter toilet to crash into the other one. We see her She's beautiful baddie, TV dude. monitor flying in the sky, and she slowly goes back to her Such body. Such a and yes, I was there living the moment with all my honor and pride, watching her every single move. We can also see ISO Toilet on the left side next to Speaker Woman with the man face from Roblox on his monitor. Honestly, it was kind of sad because TV Woman left me too early and I didn't have enough time to riz her up, but I can <laughs> promise you that I'll make sure to Give do it next time. Give her all the riz! Right after this, the POV cameraman starts moving towards the place we saw in the first leak, and we can actually see an ambulance and a cameraman getting treated. Even after watching this episode so many times, I still have no idea why they were protecting this place and losing so many soldiers, to be honest, because this seemed like a defense more than an attack to clear off the toilets from the area. But something very big happens in the next couple frames. We actually can see what's going on with the Titans at this exact moment. I'm assuming that the Alliance requested help from them, but us, the POV cameraman, probably is the messenger. Did you see Titan cameraman getting upgrades? Getting upgrades for Titan Speakerman, repairing. TV Man, secret mission, that's huh? That's supposed to deliver the news to the rest of the Alliance that the Titans won't be coming because it seems like all Titan of them Drillman, are unavailable. Yeah, he's getting repaired, all if right. If we freeze the video at the right frame, we can actually see the reasons. It looks like Titan Cameraman is unavailable because he is getting upgrades, which is interesting because he wasn't really damaged in the last episode, uh -huh. and he actually was the only Titan that looked fine. Titan Speakerman also seems to be getting upgraded, but he did seem a little damaged, so it does make sense. We also get a name drop for Titan TV Man, and it seems like he is doing a secret mission at this moment, and he'll most likely be coming to the series soon, because Dom Studios mentioned that he'd appear in the series very soon, and he already has been teased okay. in the earlier episodes. And it looks like Titan Clockman and Titan Drill Man are both getting repaired at the moment, so the Alliance is left without any Titans, and this is very worrying if all it's this okay, stuff will we take got TV too woman. To She take saves us of. all! After the POV cameraman shows the tablet to the clockman, something weird happens, and when we turn around, we see the weirdest scene in the series ever. It looks like something is shifting time because clock particles start flying around the place, and even the toilets seem surprised at the situation. But suddenly, with a bright flashlight, a weird Strider clock machine arrives at the scene. Yeah, dude, I had no yeah, clue what was going saw on, this bro. Machine in one of the leaks. After killing one of the toilets, the glass dome in the middle opens up, and we see the large clockman but it looks like his head was upgraded and he has a lot more gadgets. At first, I thought this was an upgraded version of him. But no, later it's a in whole the new episode, character. we see his original version. And we all know that clockmen are all different. 
and they all wear different clothes and ties. All new character. But this guy is exactly the same as the large clockman we know. He suddenly starts spinning his head at full speed, and the time freezing particles starts playing. But this time it seems a lot more impactful compared to normal. And Much like more on a on a grander scale. It's around the place and leaves the area like nothing ever happened. We know that the time only stopped for the toilets because the fire still keeps on burning, and the color balance doesn't change for the camera. Right after this, the POV cameraman turns behind, and we see the clockman and the drillman looking at the large clockman next to them, because they just saw a different version of him. The large clockman uh, shrugs, like, what? and this leads it to the clockman thinking about the situation. This is crazy because it seems like this was the first ever time someone has time They'd traveled all seen in the him? series. If we go back and look at the scene, it clearly is the same large clockman from the end of the episode but with upgrades. It also seems like his time abilities are a lot better in the future and apparently they can even change their clocks in the future. I don't know why it was necessary for them to build a time machine and come here at this exact moment of time to save them. Because this seemed like something they could take care was of it you? Or Was it you? But if they came from the future to save something, it probably had a big reason. Because it seemed like this time machine requires a lot of energy. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think it was Bro, actually know. the large clockman time traveling from the future? I think it's or was a new it just guy. A new large clockman we don't know of. Yep. Either way, this complicates things. Two. And mysteries in this series are getting more and more every episode. I'm guessing that we'll slowly start getting some answers from now on, and we should expect some crazy plot twists. Because Dom Studios really enjoy making some crazy decisions. Hey dude, Dom Studios loves giving us some analysis. cliffhangers, bruh. Make sure to like and subscribe. Elite Clockman out. Bye, Elite Clockman. Bye. Bye. Alright, let me bring you. I'm an idiot. I know chat. Dude, so this one. I don't know, man. I don't know. No one has an answer to this, right? We all have our theories, but it's just the Clockman theory. But we don't know what this is. We assume he came from the future because he traveled in, traveled out, or the past. Odds are the future, though, because if it's the past, it means we would have that technology. So, but why did he? I didn't see it. Didn't, it didn't look like he did anything other than just froze time, unless if they're all still frozen, moving forward for however long, maybe that's what he did. He time traveled back to freeze time and then went back. And now we're gonna do something. I don't know, but big character though. I, I think he's probably the most OP character there is now. So let me know what you guys think. Absolutely love this episode. Massive cliffhanger. And I love the little Easter eggs too. Like, you know, secret mission. What's Titan T been doing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you show Elite Clockman some love by subscribing to the channel. And again, chat, we're trying to get to 100,000 subs by Christmas. So if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button. It's absolutely free and it greatly helps out the channel. Enjoy the rest of your week and have a happy Thanksgiving. And remember, it's Eat, Sleep, and Make Beats. And as usual, be kind of one to know. That's all I got. Boom, I'm out. Ha ha! Come below. Pull the sauce cake. Peace out, chat.